Hello, my name is Metin Arıdaşır. This is 96th part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas, cosmic microwave background saucer sources are still active. Recombination, epoch, period, decoupled photons descriptions contradict with characteristic lines and continuous spectrum definitions. 1. In accepted physics theories, they say the photons that constitute the CMB that filled the universe are remnant photons from recombination and photon decoupling epoch period of the universe. They say when most of the electrons move from high energy levels to ground state level to be bounded to hydrogen ion protons to make neutral hydrogen atoms, these atoms emit the photons in this process. These photons mostly don't interact with neutral hydrogen atoms and they filled in expanding space almost don't interact with any particles up to now. Their wavelengths enlarged, enlarged as the universe expanding. These are remnant photons from the 380,000 years old baby universe. 3. 2. If it is so, Three. Two. If it is so, if these remnant photons produced by electron level changing from higher energy state to ground state as being constituent part of hydrogen atom for the first time, these photons must be characteristic radiation. This is continuous spectrum say these lines are characteristic lines from level changing of electron for inside of atom okay If it is so, if these remnants photons produced by electron level changing from higher energy state to ground state as being constituent part of hydrogen atom for the first time, these photons must be characteristic radiation and these photons must have characteristic lines. Only this. These photons cannot show this graph to us. Okay, this is continuous spectrum. These photons, the coupled photons, only show themselves to us like this line, like this line, or like these lines. Only lines, characteristic spectrum. This is continuous spectrum. Yes, if it is so, these remnant photons cannot do continuous radiation and these remnant photons cannot show continuous spectrum. Whereas CMB has continuous spectrum, cosmic microwave background has continuous spectrum. How can characteristic line photons seem as continuous spectrum in the graphs. This is contradiction. 3. Moreover, we know that characteristic line photons are isotropic. Isotropic. Independent of direction. Here, yes. Moreover, we know that characteristic line photons are isotropic.
isotropic, independent of direction, source direction, or light direction. Yes. Moreover, we know that characteristic line photons are isotropic, but continuous spectrums are anisotropic. Here. Anisotropic. Anisotropic. Continuous waves. Continuous wave spectrum is anisotropic. Depending on source motion or observer motion, okay? C and B, we know, cosmic microwave background is, we know, cosmic microwave background is an isotropic continuous spectrum also. C and B is C and B is an isotropic continuous spectrum also. This is second real contradiction. C and B cosmic microwave background is not from recombination epoch period. If it is so, what is the source of C and B? Four. Four. According to my theory and my formula, C and B are cosmic microwave background radiation sources are still active. Their sources are free electron motion forms in the universe. Relocating free electron motion forms, success C waves are the source of C and B R, and all continuous spectrums. Their sources are free electron motion forms in the universe. Relocating free electron motion forms, success C waves are the source of C and B R and all continuous spectrums. I have told you before again and again. I advise you to watch from my former videos. 5. Proton bounded electron motion forms produce single wave pulse remember from my former videos proton bounded electron motion forms pro this is free electron motion form in motion this is this small nuclear uh, proton this is proton this is electron joint motion okay Say hydrogen atom, lambda n. Remember from my former videos. This is, say, ground state, say. Initial wavelength of electron motion form. Yet doesn't change. Then, if this electron motion form in some, with some effect, by some effect, enlarge, okay, then go back it its same position or another lower position produce and push single wave pulse as a sphere as a sphere through the eternity from inside to outside it cannot return it cannot go back okay yes Proton bounded electron motion forms produce single wave pulse through the eternity. And single wave pulse production is the source of characteristic lines. 
if we think as accepted physics theories, when the coupled characteristic line source photons emitted before 13.5 billion years, which mechanism make us meet with these decoupled photons that departed 13.5 billion years before? The coupled photons from the first 380,000 years old, yet baby universe, before 13 billion years, 13.5 billion years that they had gone ahead before, before us, then somehow, perhaps by the effect of circular motion and gravity from at present galaxies, some of them have been turned back to be seen at our microwave sensitive antennas. Which mechanism had made these born before us, the coupled photons, go back through the past that born after them through to us? Is there a reflective wall at the end of the universe that make these decoupled photons sent back to us? The joke is enough. I advise you to read my writings under the video. And I, I advise you to watch my former videos about this subject. Have a good evening. See you later.